everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i thought we could do a little room organization book organization bookshelf organization <laughs> book cart organization basically we're just going to organize as much as i possibly can today because i've got a free day i feel like the weather's nice i've been on a dog walk and i've got a couple of hours just to have a little sort out so that is the plan. Um, so we're going to get on with that now. Um, I'm going to take you over to my bookshelf um, because I organised it in a bit of a rush when I was moving into this house. So I feel like I need to just really do it how I want to do it. So yeah, I will take you over there now. It's just behind me, as you can see. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, um, I did organise my bookshelf quite a while ago and I feel like I could do it better like I'm not 100% satisfied with how it looks so we're going to take everything off have a little jig around and see if we can make it look a bit more aesthetically pleasing um I'm happy with it but I'm just not 100% happy with it so I'm going to have a little jig about um so yeah I'm going to show you what it looks like currently and then we'll do a little comparison once I've sorted it out Okay, so this is my current bookshelf. Um, don't mind the laundry basket next to it. That needs to find a new home. I feel like I could do it a lot better. Um, like it's okay. Like I like the top three shelves, but it's the bottom two that are a bit messy at the moment. So we're just going to have a little rejig, but I'm going to talk you through what's on there currently. So I have a bit of a rainbow shelf going on at the top. Um, I am meant to have a purple book there, um, <laughs> there, but I was uh, filming a video using that book, so yeah. Then I've got my plant and a couple of books. Then I've got my um, Chestnut Spring series and my little jelly cat, all my Tessa Baileys and Happy Place. Then I've just got some um, authors like series or like standalone books in a row these are all romances by the way and then the two bottom shelves need to be sorted like that is my main mission so I think I'm going to keep the top shelf the same maybe swap this to the middle shelf and then put that up there so yeah I'm going to set you up now and we can have a little time lapse of me organizing it and now, as I get up to go yeah, so I think I'm going to keep the top one the same. Um, I am missing a book from there though, which is Things We Leave Unfinished, um, which is a purple book. So I'm going to pop that back on. So yeah, I think I'm happy with the top shelf. Um, just going to pull that plant forward a little bit. I think I'm going to swap these two shelves round. So yeah, let's time lapse this. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that situation for now. I just need to sort out the bottom two shelves. So I'm a bit stuck because I kind of wanted the bottom shelf to be like a pinky shelf. Um, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that um, because it was looking fine, but now it looks a bit scruffy. So... Yeah, we're going to sort that out, sort the bottom shelf out, and then, yeah, that should be the bookshelf complete. I feel like that looks better anyway, because it's not as, I don't know, like having the two similar shelves with like the books horizontal and vertical, I feel like it looks better that it's spread apart. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I just want to sort out this... Uh, second to bottom shelf um oh my god how cute is this by the way my best friend got me this and i think it's the cutest bookmark ever okay um 
So I basically have, yeah, I think I'm going to do it like this just for now. And then we'll see. So I've got Love Struck and Once Upon a Broken Heart. Obviously, they're quite pinky. So I'm going to put them on the shelf. I feel like these would be better together. Okay. So it's like a pink and purple shelf. That's the vibe we're going for. Obviously, I'm reading this at the moment and that's like a purpley spine. So I don't want to put that on the shelf just yet. Okay, so I'm going to take these away. Put these on here. Gosh. Golly gosh. Okay. Move that to there. And then put those two in like that. Could probably fit another one in there. I feel better about that. Yep, I think that'll do for now. And then the bottom shelf. So I'm just going to pop this back on here. The bottom shelf, I have a couple of hardbacks. Okay, I feel better about that now. Okay, so that is the bookshelf done. Obviously, these are the main shelves anyway. And then the bottom shelf looks like that. It looks a bit like clearer now anyway, so it looks better. So, yeah, happy with those. So, obviously got my rainbow ones at the top. Then my most favourite romances. Tessa Bailey and Chestnut Spring series. A pink and purple shelf and then a couple of hardbacks my journals and my albums and my scrapbooks okay so this is my tbr cart i ordered this from amazon i got the baby pink one and um yeah really happy with it only thing is because i'm on carpet i can't really move it about so it has to stay here but in my room if i just show you it's just like next to, well, like opposite the shelves, which I don't think looks too bad. Um, and you can like see the side of it, so it's not too bad. But obviously when I'm laying in bed and I want to pick a book to read, I can see the books that I want to read. So I have a box of books here, but I've tried to keep the TBR car as um, less cluttered as possible. So I'm just going to talk you through the books on my TBR cart. So I have um, Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. Obviously, I'm not a fantasy reader, so I'm scared to start them books, but really, really want to get around to reading them. And then I also picked up Girl Goddess Queen in the hardback Waterstone Sal. I've got two... Christina Lawrence, I've got Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating and Roomies. I've got a couple of Lucy Score books that I need to read. Then moving down the shelf, I have The Skeleton Key, The Lost Bookshop, Looking Out for Love, Everything I Know About Love, Half the World Away, The Paper Palace, The Intimacy Experiment, 
chase me the split everything everything a brush with love the cheat sheet practice makes perfect and then on the bottom shelf i have shuggy bane the book thief the atlas six yours truly the one of us is lion series the doll factory queenie and two lisa jewels the family upstairs and the night she disappeared and then i do also have um the twisted series which i picked up in the charity shop would you believe for four pounds so one pound each i got the whole series i was so happy about that so yeah that's my little book cart i feel like that's okay for the time being i just wanted to show you a rough idea of what's on my tbr cart so yeah i think that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video um obviously i showed you a little bit oh i just wanted to show you this as well pick this up in the charity shop five survive by holly jackson the same author as the good girl guide to murder and i picked this up in the charity shop for two pound as well so such a bargain so that needs to go on the tbr cart as well but yeah so i'm not I'm not 100% happy with how my books are at the moment. Obviously, I need to do a bit of like juggling about. I want to get through my TBR as much as possible, hence why I bought the TBR cart. So, yeah, um, I'm going to do a video doing like a TBR jar picks my TBR for the month. That's going to be in February, but I'm going to do it towards the end of January. And yeah, so that is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it hope you got an idea of what sort of books i like to read and what i'm reading at the moment like i say i'm just going to show you quickly i am currently reading say you swear by megan brandy this is like a massive massive hyped book on tiktok and hopefully it lives up to the hype um I got through about 30 pages last night and really enjoying it so far. So yeah, I'm hoping that this book lives up to my expectations because I hate that with books when you're like, you get so hyped up about it and then you read it yourself and you're just like, no, it's not the vibe. So yeah, that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.